uh, affected by this issue and it's going to come to the next group as soon as it passes with us. So it needs to stop. It needs to stop now. We have dedicated our lives to our jobs. We've done a good job for the cities all over this country and to put these issues on the backs of union workers is disgusting and is shameful and our country should not even be in this position. Cut from the top. That's where the money is. It is not in our pockets. We are not bringing home any big salaries. We're making a living wage and that's what this country is supposed to be about, making a living wage. I was a uh, clerical secretary at the uh, mental health clinic, the Central City Older Adults, for 16 years. I loved my job. I tried to do the best I can for every single day that I was there. I did not. I was not a slacker. I came to work every day. I did not cheat the system, and I think I deserve a fair living wage as I retire in my few years that I might have left. I am not flying to the French Riviera off my pension. I am not going, I am not taking big time cruises. I do not have a jet. I am just making a living wage. And that's all I ask for. Nothing more and definitely nothing less. Newspapers are full of so-called rich people, with rich retirees. That they, the newspapers publicize retirees who have huge pensions. They are a few. And they, those pensions are absurd. But most city workers receive very small pensions. And the pension system is not broke. This pro the system is in good shape. However, the system is uh, it by yelling prices, by yelling that the system is broke, they expect us to all go into a crisis mode and accept major cuts. There is funds. They have funds for $1.6 billion for a tunnel. They have funds to give away in leases two piers on the, uh, at the port to uh, the yacht millionaires, plus a piece of land that they can build the expensive condos. There's money there, but then they say, well, there's no money. Of course, if you accept their, uh, their arguments, but their arguments are basically exaggerations and lies. The puppet mayor Lee does not care if the retirees on fixed incomes. He doesn't care if they have to give up food or pay the rent or the electrical bill. Is a bad 
policy, a cruel policy, and it's buried in this measure called pension reform. It's not a good measure. People should be voting against both measures. Our chapter, SEIU 10 to 1 retirees, West Bay, took a vote and we decided to oppose both the Dantes and the alleged consensus amendment, which was not by the way, and everybody should know, we were not allowed to talk to the Public Employees Council. That's labor. That's the mayor. Wow. That's uh, the, anybody that was negotiating in this entire deal. We wrote letters. We called. We got no response. They wanted us out. And then they started to compromise and leverage our benefits to trade off for something else wanted to do to some other group, you know, and I'm for them not doing anything to any group that's negative. We didn't. The point was we could not get in there and defend ourselves. That's why we're going to go around the city as much as we can and try to let people know how this is affecting seniors. As someone else said, most seniors do not get high pensions. The average is 24000 Many make 24500 people that are retired make under 20,000 a year. They receive, tw uh, how, this is kind of like, uh, you know, dumb economics in that if, if we don't get our colas, if that group doesn't get our cola, their cola, they're gonna be lining up for federal cheese, for services, going to these uh, social uh, agencies, uh, which are closing, by the way, to us, so um, that because those are those uh, agencies are all experiencing cutbacks through the mayor's office as well. I do not want this mayor to be put in. He shows no empathy towards seniors. He wouldn't meet with us. His staff just kept hanging up and saying, "Maybe we'll get back to you." It was insane. I have never in my entire life, and I've been in the union for uh, since 1972, and I've been an officer. I've never been treated with such a distaste. Beatrice Garland is Duncan. I'm the past president of the West Bay Retiree Chapter. I think that it's very important what has been said here today. There has been disappointment. There has been betrayal. I, as a senior citizen and others of my colleagues, we have never been treated in such a disdain. You could see it in their faces when we met with those members of the Board of Supervisors to put our position to them. We were uh, poo-pooted and more, they didn't even listen to us. There was this appearance that we didn't know what we were talking about. These Board of Supervisors expect for us to understand a, a legislation that is 300 pages or more without any input from us, without any, without any understanding of the crisis that currently we are facing. One thing that we have not mentioned, it is the fact that Social Security has not given us any increase for the last two years. And please do not expect that to happen under this Boner and McCollum and everybody else, uh, whatever his last name is, but it's very, very detrimental. I did say to one member of the Water Supervisors that we might as well get on a munibus, sorry Darian, that and, and move us out of the city because we are no longer going to be here to represent the senior citizens, to be able to remain in this city that we work so hard, that we contributed sweat, tears, and commitment to make this city what we thought it was going to be for our golden years. Do not be misled. The union has been totally, totally discriminated against us. Sexism, ageism, and it's not acceptable. The leaders of Public Employees Council have been totally, totally out of control. The Labor Council is out of control. The Board of Supervisors are out of control. And this so-called future mayor of San Francisco is not of control. Anyway, we face a very desperate situation now. One of the re other reasons, besides them not taxing the corporations, is what they're doing with our tax money. What they're doing with our tax money is funding wars. They're funding a war in Afghanistan. They're funding a war in Iraq. They want to fund a war in Libya. Who knows else where they want to take the children, our children, young people from the working class 
And the poor got to switch hands. Got Carpal Tunnel Syndrome from my job. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> so, who are these people that are doing this fight? Press, press, press. Well, we know it's the Democratic Party. We know it's Barack Obama. Don't blame Barack Obama. Uh, we know, we know it's the Republican Party Don't blame him. that he collaborates with. But locally, we know it's Sean Ellsberg. We know it's Jeff Adachi. We know it's the whole Democratic Party apparatus. And the labor leaders like Tim Paulson. The head of the San Francisco Labor Council, who collaborates with them and leads the labor lieutenants of capital in the Democratic Party in California. These people that we pay turn around and support money being stole, stolen from our pockets, our pensions being stolen, our Social Security being stolen, our Medicare being stolen, and they're going to take it all, and unless we organize and fight for everybody in this society, unless labor plays a leading role. Brothers and sisters, I'm here today in solidarity with voting against whatever propositions that they're going to put on the ballot, attacking our pensions and our wages. It's time for us to get rid of these crooked politicians and send them to jail. Yes! It's time for us to turn into Robin Hood. Yes! Rob the rich and give back to ourselves. Yes, right. Send the rich a do bill. Yes, pay your tax, yeah. pay your fair share. There you go. Hey. Hey, yo, yo, yo. We need to go to all these billionaires with a collection plate yes. and tell them to turn out their pockets. Yes. Show solidarity at the back and get out there, yeah. get to these people that, that vote and tell them they're making a bad decision if they vote yes for this pitching plan. Who do we have to pay high-paid managers? And stop paying these high-paid managers, especially these up here in this building right here. on construction projects that's not needed, like the Central Subway. Yes. While the public buses are falling apart. Yes, and when we report things to Cal Ocean to try to get help, they retaliate. I, I tried to go to the Sunshine Task Force to get the maintenance records for all the buses so I can file my lawsuit for my injury that I sustained while driving this defective equipment. Wow. They retaliate against me. They want to fire me for going Ooh. to the Sunshine Task Force asking for public records, oh, which is public yeah. records, yeah. maintenance records. So I'm having a hearing on <laughs> August 3rd at 11.20. Where? At uh, 1 South NS. And I hope people that's here today can come and support me. Absolutely. Because it's time that we need to send a clear message to these bosses, yep. these politicians, that we're not taking no more of their bullshit no. that they're trying to ram down our throat. Oh, okay.